in all personnel. One hour to tonight's show and still no sign of casualties. Oh wait. Play that. Yeah, I can I can walk, alright? I can walk. That's what you said the last time. Right before you walked into that quicksand. For the last time. Had it had some cones around it or something, I would have been just fine. No. Somehow I think you'd find a way to trip over them and then end up falling down a canyon. You can't trip and fall into a canyon. It's not that simple. Well, it's simple for you. And what about our car? Yeah, well, well it didn't fall down the canyon. It just sort of teetered there on the edge yeah, for a while. before it fell into the canyon. Well, at least we weren't in it. We were, right up until the time that it fell. Oh, well, if you're going to split hairs, oh. Hey, what? Oh. what's the matter? Oh, it sort of hurts now. Hey, oh. anybody, we need a doctor here. I'm a nurse. Here, let me help you sit down. What happened here? What did happen? I'm going to have to dress it to stop the bleeding. Oh, that's all right. It feels much better now. Really. Look, I, c I can walk and everything. I can hear it. Let me get up. Doctor, I just, oh. just sit down. Uh. Major Mark Nicolayan, report to the mess head. Major Mark Nicolayan, to the mess head. On the new leg. <clears throat> I mean, on the double. Uh, I have to go. Just keep applying pressure. I'll inform the doctor about your condition. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, does it hurt when I do this? Yes. Oh, Ow. Sorry. sorry, Proctor. P please. Call me Eugene. What would you do that for all me? Alright, alright, Eugene. You two just wait. Your little party is going to be a no-go the minute I contact the general. I really don't think MacArthur cares if we throw a party with red, white, or blue balloons, Frank. Say, where are you guys following me anyway? We just can't stand to be away from you, Frank. Yeah, if we're with you, you can't cause any trouble. And just who is this? I think we spoke too soon. Uh, this is my, my... Partner? Yeah, 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 right, right. My detective partner. She's been very badly injured. How did it happen? He caught his leg in some barbed wire. Huh. Well, going AWOL, no doubt. No, that happened about two seconds after he caught his leg. Let me take a look. It looks pretty bad. Hey, fellow, what's your stand on surgery? Well... Well, good, because without it, you might not stand. So did this happen while you're climbing over or under? Neither. Neither? Listen, barbed wire doesn't just leap out and wrap itself around people's legs. Actually, it does. Yes, sir, Eugene. You see, we were walking through the village... Oh, the wire they use for chicken coops? I accidentally tripped and got sort of tangled up. Poor chickens. It, no, they weren't They weren't pleased. Yeah, they started pecking at his head. Uh, all right, I think the picture has been painted. A nurse said that she was going to get a doctor. Well, we can't operate on you. You're a civilian. And a klutzy one at that. We only operate on direct casualties of war. Look, Frank, he may not have been in the war, but he is a direct casualty of this place. Not someone like you or me. Now either we operate on him, or I'm going to get up late tonight and glue all the pages of your Bible together. You don't scare me, Buster. I will not operate on him. I cannot. I won't. Is that your final offer, Frank? Yeah, you seem undecided. Out of my way, you... you... people pleasers! What a lousy thing to call someone in the middle of a war! Don't worry, kid. We can fix your leg. Oh, really? But Major Burns... Just he... don't you worry about it. I think it's time that Major Burns had a taste of his own medicine. What do you have in mind? V-A-T-S-N-I-K. V-A-T-S-N-I-K? The boss slopping pills in town. Does anybody have any requests out there? We can't just make whatever you know. How about something from Goat's Head Soup? I don't know that one. That's all right, the cook does. A one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four. Okay, Bobby, you're all hooked up. I knew somehow the war would make me dependent on drugs. You're true blue, pal. Should I give him one or two? <laughs> See, that depends. Depends on what? If you ever want to have him wake up. <laughs> I miss Frank. Me too. Better just give him half. Here, Frank, drink this. What is it? Well, if I'm not mistaken, I'd say it's a drink. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we'll relax you. I don't want to be relaxed. Well, then it'll make you tense. Will you just drink it? Well, okay. It's still just a little too suspicious me coming in here and you guys offering me a drink like you knew I'd need one. Well, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Say, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Do you hear that trap? He likes green eggs and ham. Yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting flight. Should we leave him here or put him to bed? Well, he's already here. Why should he miss the party? To surgery? To surgery. You know, there's just one thing I regret about the way things turned out tonight. What's that? I just feel bad I didn't push Henry more about Father Mulcahy's sermon. Yeah, but we had to have that monthly meeting. I could have done without it. Gospel John 21. When they had eaten, Jesus said to Simon, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do? He answered, yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. The second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He replied, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus said to him, Look after my sheep. And it goes on like that. <laughs>